I feel like a fraud because I'm just constantly asking myself, are you really in the right position to be writing about something so sensitive and delicate when you know for a fact you've never experienced it before in hey guys, your life? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chinom So. In today's video, I will be talking about love. And I'm not talking brother, sister, mother, father, you're my friend, I love you. I'm talking about romantic love, the one where you're in love with somebody, they're in love with you. You guys decide to, you know, be in a committed relationship with each other. That's the kind of love I'm talking about, okay? I'm making all of this personal, I'm relating it back to my life, my own story. So yeah, and then moving on from that, I'm going to talk about just general opinions we have about love and from the point of view of a writer, writing about love. Is that mutually exclusive from my experience or inexperience of it? If you want to get up close and personal with me and my love life or non-existent love life, you'll find out. <music> get into the main topic i just want to say if you haven't subscribed now is the time to do so okay just click that subscribe button for me just do me a favor click that subscribe button also don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i post a video because it's going to be good content you know you know you want the good content so just click it click subscribe okay first i'm going to be talking about the experience of love and my first question to myself is have I ever experienced romantic love? Like real, genuine, sincere love? Honestly, the answer for me is no. I would say that I'm close to being in that kind of relationship where I know that I love the person, I know that they love me. We're in love, okay? I would say that I think I'm close to being in that. But as of for now, just like if I'm being, you know, realistic, I'm if I'm being honest, I have not. I have not experienced love like that. First of all, I've only been in one serious relationship in my entire life. It's not like I'm old, but still. I've only been in one serious relationship and I like the guy and he likes me, but it obviously wasn't love. I just wanted to be with somebody and peer pressure i think that's what it was for me it doesn't mean i didn't like him i liked him but he obviously obviously was not love and since then like i've i've not been in any serious relationship i've you know sort of been with or hung out with a bunch of guys but nothing serious nothing ever serious nothing definitely not love you know so no i haven't experienced that and with that being said, I mean, it's pretty obvious that, okay, I'm lacking in that department. And have I been around people who were in love or are in love and, you know, are committed to each other in a relationship, whatever? I, I thought I was, but all of them seem to have broken up. So I don't know. <laughs> all I have right now are just my own opinions, what I think love should be what I want it to be and all of these are based on my personality so let's talk about my personality I'm a very emotional person right and when I say I'm emotional people always think oh she's she'll be quick to you know burst out in anger scream shout cry that's not what it means to me for me when I say I'm emotional, what it means is that I'm not afraid of my emotions at all. I'm not afraid of feelings. I let myself feel whatever my body needs to feel at that time. No matter how painful, I'm not afraid of it. And so even though I let myself feel so much, a lot of that feeling is very contained, if that makes sense. Contained because I still apply a certain amount of logic to everything doesn't mean that i won't give myself time to feel whatever it is i need to feel but then i just don't let myself wallow in it for so long or get lost in it that i lose focus if that makes sense so i'm very emotional okay if i need to cry i will cry 
yo i will cry and if i need to be happy and i'm i will be happy and over the moon like i feelings do not scare me at all because i trust my emotions so much i'm very into like connections with people i want to feel things i want to know that the like my connections with people are not just shallow meaningless i want meaning i want purpose i want to feel something something positive something good and so i just don't make friends anyhow <laughs> yeah. like my personality um being emotional being very in touch with my feelings placing connections with people on like top priority making sure that there's sincerity and it's just it there's meaning and purpose all of these shape my idea of what i think love entails okay when i think about love there's certain words that come to mind and i'm just going to list them out they're very random i'm not like arranging them or whatever but yeah certain words come to mind when i think about love okay support loyalty endurance perseverance appreciation respect emotions feelings purity sincerity did i say sincerity um vulnerability and then the most important one i think is choice okay in as much as sometimes our feelings are not entirely within our control at the end of the day the truth is that we choose to be with people that we love i can love you and i can still choose to not commit to you okay so we thought you still have to choose to be with someone and so choice for me is very important there's nothing very spontaneous about my idea of love it's very intentional for me it's very intentional it's like there's the I see you and I know I like you and that wasn't controlled or that wasn't a conscious effort or decision on my part but where it goes from there where it what it develops into it's all a choice because feelings are a big thing to me I tend sometimes I tend to move to extremes with feelings okay so when I'm writing from a happy place it's extremely happy and then when i'm writing from a place of pain it's extremely pain and i tend to portray love as sometimes happy and then sometimes just painful but i think what is more most important about the two regardless of which one i'm writing about is just that there is a sense of contentment at the end of the day there is a sense of contentment of satisfaction because it is a choice. So you know, thinking about my idea of love, I feel like it's pretty well-rounded, okay? I don't just see the good in it. I see not the bad in it, but the complex side of it that can possibly bring pain or sadness. And I feel like my idea of love is very well-rounded. And so when I write about it, I really should write with some sort of certainty. But for some reason, I just cannot stop myself from feeling like I'm missing something, like I don't have the full picture. And when I ask myself why, the only logical answer is because I've I can think about all of these things, what I think love is, what I want it to be. I can think about all of that, but at the end of the day, it's like I have not experienced it for myself. So I really don't know. I really can't say for sure. I tiptoe around love, anything love related when it comes to writing romance. It's just like I don't know. I'm the I don't know. I just I, I I cannot bring myself to confidently write about love. And I know people, I know writers who write about love so effortlessly. And I've spoken to a few of them and like asked, is it where does it come from? Does it come from a place of experience? Does experience help at all or is it just 
all in your head. And the truth is, for most of them, it's in their head. They haven't necessarily experienced it. They just feel like, you know, they're very convinced that they have an idea and that idea is worth putting down on paper. When I write, I, I have to be sure that I'm well equipped. So I need to know for a fact that I've done my I've I've done my due diligence with a topic and I'm writing from a place of knowledge and not just feelings, not just emotions. Okay. I feel like as writers there is a certain responsibility that comes with what you decide to write. Whether you like it or not, there are people that will read what you write and take it seriously, take it to heart and be like Oh my gosh, this is so tr this is true, right? That's what I'm saying. There are people that do that with what we write. And so I feel like whether you like it or not, there's a responsibility that comes with what you put out. You better believe with all your heart in what you write. You better be ready to stand up for it and defend it and be like, yes, I wrote that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anytime that I I don't feel like I can back up anything that I write, I just, I'd rather not put it out there. And that, that is what happens with this whole concept of love. It's like, I don't know, man. I just, I can think about it from now to you, the end of the world, but I want to experience it. I want to be in it. This is about people's feelings, okay? This is a matter of the heart. It's sensitive. It's sensitive. It's a sensitive topic. So just let me know what you think. Like, if you have an experience something like that, do you have any right to, you know, pen down some thoughts about it and put it out there and be like, yes, that that's 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 love. That's what I, that's what I know about love. Not even that. That's what I think about love. Writing about love does not come naturally to me, first of all. <laughs> but when I think about it and I try to do it, I just I feel like a fraud. I feel like a freaking fraud all the time i'm like girl like you are writing all these things and you're not even sure you now put it out there somebody will now read it and now be like oh my god she's speaking to me meanwhile i'm over here like i'm not even sure about what i wrote <laughs> so this brings us to the end of this video if you have watched it up until this point thank you so much for watching i love you i appreciate you you know this um and if you haven't subscribed, just click the subscribe button now because it means you watched the entire video. It means you enjoyed it. So subscribe, 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 subscribe. Okay, thank you. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Spread the word, guys. Where Help me, help me, help me. Help me grow my ministry, okay? Invite people over, all right? Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.